Hey there and welcome to the UCSF channel and welcome to this full uke guide review of this instrument. This is the Kala K-A-S-S-E-M-C. It is a concert ukulele with a solid spruce top and laminate exotic mahogany back and sides. This is um, actually a really pleasing instrument. Uh, Kala has done a pretty nice job with this. My complaints are pretty standard Kala complaints at this point, and we'll get into that in the review. What we're going to do in this review is look at the subjective issues that I look at with all the ukuleles, then I'll go over the specifications, then I'll summarize the instrument, and give it a uke guide rating out of five possible ukuleles. Now, some reminders. First and foremost, if you want to, you can skip ahead to parts of this video that matter to you. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Um, so therefore, if you want to just listen to the specifications, you can jump to that part of the video. There are chapters here. You can jump right to the summary. And if you're interested in a one-page summary of this, you can find that at ukestuff.info or ukeguide.info. Uh, that's where I keep the one-page yellow uke guide review sheet, uh, which I do for every one of these reviews. It's kind of based off of the energy guide that we use here in the United States with an appliance. So it kind of gives you a one-page summary of the instrument. Also, if you want to support the channel, there are three things you can do. You can subscribe to the channel, you can like the video, and you can always buy me a cup of coffee to say thanks for making these videos at buymeacoffee.com slash ukestuff. And then finally, I just want to mention that this does not belong to me. This belongs to a friend who asked me to take a look at it and make sure that it was set up correctly because I believe she is going to give it away. She gives away a bunch of ukuleles to people for various reasons. Um, I'm not giving them away, so don't contact me. I'm not going to let you know who she is. She asked to be anonymous, but she let me take this to double check it and then also to review it. So I appreciate that. All right. So let's begin with the subject of categories. In terms of cost, it's $219 without anything else added to it. So it's a very, um, it's it's not cheap. There are far less expensive solid top laminate ukuleles on the market. Now, in terms of value though, I think it is the value. It's a very well-made ukulele. Um, it's, and we'll get to sound later. I think it's a good sounding ukulele. Playability, it's a standard Kala concert, 35 millimeter nut. So I think really, again, Kala is one of two companies that I think really sets price points because of its distribution. The first is Kamaka, which sets the price for solid wood Hawaiian koa instruments. And then I think the other company that really sets the prices for the entire industry is Kala. And then other companies can go under or above that depending on what they want to offer or what they want, how they want to market their instruments. So I think the value meets the value even though it doesn't come with anything else. Um, you can get more for your money from some other companies. And I think I'll probably do a real quick review or comparison with this with a flight solid top laminate ukulele as well as with a paani which I really, really liked and am keeping. Um, so let's, I'll, I'll do that in another video. So look for that video in the near future. All right, in terms of build quality, when you pay a little more for a Kala, you do get a much better build. So I recently have had a chance to look at the Kala KA-15C. I've had a chance to look at the latest Kala KAS. Um, those reviews may or may not be up yet. I'm working on a whole bunch at one time here of ukuleles that belong to my friend. And they have really cheapened the interior construction of those ukuleles. The outsides look fine, but the inside has really been cheapened. That steps up a notch here. But other than that, I love, I mean, this looks like a classical guitar. It's very, very attractive with that spruce top. Um, I'm impartial to the exotic mahogany. I have a friend who loves, loves her soprano exotic mahogany soprano ukulele. I'll be reviewing one of those incidentally in the near future as well, um, if it's not already up yet. But um, I'm impartial to that. I think it looks fine. It doesn't bother me one way or another. I kind of like more dark woods, but hey, I'm okay with that. Um, you know, some people are really going to like how that looks. I do like the flaming of it. That's really, really nice. Um, it's an attractive ukulele. The fretboard is bound. You get that. You get decent, you know, unbranded tuners. You get a nice binding stripe on the back. You get nice black binding on it. 
and the purfling with that sort of herringbone is beautiful as well as the rosette. Very classic, very, very classic, um, very well built altogether. I, mean, I guess we'll talk about appearance in a second, but the outside is feels nice to the touch, sort of a satin finish. Um, yeah, very, very much like, like here. Now let's take a look at the inside of the ukulele. All right, let's take a look at the inside. There's the K-A-S-S-E-M-C label. Looking at the back, you can see just the quality of the laminate compared to, for example, the KA-15C um, that I've, I've recently made a review for. And there is the horizontal brace. There will also be bracing on the top here. And I'll see if I can get an angle up so you can see the bridge plate. Okay, so there is the... Actually, it sort of has an X brace. That's pretty cool. So that spruce top has an X brace on the inside. Did not even realize that. There's your bridge support plate there. There's your tail block, your notch curving. Yeah, it's almost like a mini guitar with that X brace. Now let's look at the upper bout here. I'll turn the camera around. All right, so we're all the way up against the neck block. You can see a little bit of glue there. The overall, there's very little glue. There's a little bit notch curving. You can see the spruce on the inside. You can see the notch curving on the bottom. I'll see if I can get a better angle here on the bottom. All right, and taking a look at the bottom, there's more of the bottom. It's just overall a clean build. A little glue here and there, but really an excellent build. And that X brace is kind of cool to see on the inside as well. On a concert ukulele, you don't see that very often. And that's our quick look at the inside of the Kala K-A-S-S-E-M-C. So as build quality goes, that's really, really nicely made. And that X brace is really cool to see on the inside there. All right, in terms of appearance, I've already said, I just love how this looks. Again, I'm impartial to the exotic laminate mahogany but I really like the classical guitar look of that. That really does appeal to me. Um, it's plain. Oh, and then it has one other neat feature. It has this nice little cap on the back of the heel. That's nice. And even the uh, joints here on the neck look better than on some of the cheaper callus. They do a much better job of blending that. So when you pay that extra money for a calla, you are getting more for your money in terms of callus build. There's no question about it. Now, in terms of availability, these do appear to be discontinued, but you can still find them used and new from some vendors. Now, in terms of playability, it's your Kala 35mm nut, narrow string spacing, thick C-shaped neck, but the action is decent. The action is decent. In fact, the action might even be a little bit on the low side. No buzzing, but it's, it's very easy to play. I would like it with other strings, and we'll talk about that as we go a little bit further. In terms of sound quality, it's a nice sound with a spruce top, but the sound is tempered by the laminate back inside, so it gives it a little bit more warmth than you'd expect, and I think that the Aquila strings aren't doing it any favors. So with this one is another one that I would try Worth Browns or Fremont Black strings. I would give either one of those a shot with this instrument and see what you thought. If you didn't like those, then I would try maybe an Aquila Red. Be careful because some reds are known to break, um, but nonetheless, that would be my order of string trial if you wanted to try something else. I don't think I would go to a fluorocarbon with the solid spruce top because that just might be too edgy. We'll see. But anyway, the sound quality is excellent, has good projection, and it's just slightly on the darker, warmer side than the bright side, even with that spruce top and the Aquila strings. Again, I would try other strings. That's what I would do. Now, one of the things I do in these videos is I let you see what I'm hearing by using the app Tonal Energy Tuner. So what I do is I play the C chord into the app, iPad app, Tonal Energy Tuner, and let you see what's happening with the harmonic energy. So here we go. I'm definitely hearing harmonics there. I'm also definitely hearing more sustain than the app is picking up. Um, but it just lets you see, it It does obviously sustain on that low end and you can see that. And you know, it 
<laughs> it's a balanced sound, but again, I think other strings would help it. All right, now that we've talked about the subject of categories, let's go into specifications. It is a concert ukulele. The scale length is 14.875 inches from nut to saddle, has 18 frets with 14 to the body. It does have side position markers at 5, 7, 10, and 12, and it is a very traditional looking double bout ukulele, almost looks like a tiny classical guitar. The soundboard is solid spruce. The back and sides are made out of exotic laminate mahogany with some nice striping in it. The fretboard is rosewood and is not radius. The bridge is rosewood and smaller, and it also has that nice little highlight or accent piece on the bridge. Um, and it is a tie bar bridge with a um, Graftec black nut and saddle, which is also a nice look on it, new bone black um, there. It is not a compensated saddle. The finish is satin, feels really nice in the hands. This is a really nice feeling ukulele. The overall length is 24 inches and it weighs one pound, 2.0 ounces, which is um, heavier than I would think. Uh, it's not super heavy, but it's probably the laminate, I would guess, uh, more than anything else. And it's not super heavy, it's not unbalanced, but it's just a little heavier than you would think it would be. The tuners are open geared tuners that work just fine. The action at the first fret is lower than 0.5 millimeters, and the action at the 12th fret is 2 millimeters. The nut width is 34.70 millimeters, so I'd like to see that a little wider. And this ring spacing is tight, like many Kellas. At the first fret, it's 8.71 millimeters between each string, 28.66 millimeters G to A, which again is tight string spacing. So if you have large hands, you're not going to like it. If you're used to playing imported uh, concert soprano and tenor ukuleles, it might feel pretty normal to you. The depth of the neck at the third fret, I go from the top of the string, to the bottom of the neck is 22.35 millimeters. That's pretty chunky, and it's your traditional C-shaped baseball bat. And again, as I've said in many of these reviews with Cala, is I wish Cala would rethink that and work with their manufacturers to make a more narrow neck, flatter neck playing experience and a slightly wider nut. Even a millimeter or two um, would do wonders for many, many players. All right, now that we've talked about the specifications, let's summarize the instrument and give it a U-Guide rating. The Cala K-A-S-S-E-M-C is a very attractive instrument that's very reminiscent of a classical guitar. Um, and that's further accentuated by the solid spruce top and that rosette. It's topped off with very nice binding, purfling, as well as a beautiful laminate, ex exotic laminate mahogany. Although I'm not such a fan of the light color, it is pretty. I do have to admit, and I do like the striping in it. The instrument is really well made. Surprised to see the X-brace on the inside on the soundboard. And Cala does reward you with a better made instrument when you pay more for an instrument. Uh, the instrument is warmer than you'd expect the spruce to be. I would try other strings. Again, my order would be Worth Brown, Fremont Black, and then maybe Aquila Reds. Like all Kellas, it has a 35 millimeter nut, or I should say all import Kellas of this size, right? Not their ones that they make in Petaluma, California but especially Sopranos in Concert, 35 millimeter nut, narrow string spacing, thicker neck than I would like. But again, it's not unplayable. It just could be better. So would I recommend it? Absolutely. What rating would I give this? Even with the neck and that whole deal of tight string spacing, this is, this is really a well put together ukulele. I'd give this a 4.5 out of five ukuleles. All right. Thanks so much for joining me for this review of the Cala K-A-S-S-E-M-C. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.